Make that big boss less special It ain't no game, but they say I'm Welcome to the second level What's up, guys, and welcome back to our, our Indie PopCon 2017 coverage. We are hanging out with Charlotte Chung today. How you doing? What's up? I'm doing well. You're doing How well. You? I'm good. It's the end of the day, day one. Yes. Uh, do you enjoy? Do you enjoy yourself today? Um, absolutely. The people of Indiana are so nice. That's good. <laughs> Glad to hear. So, a couple questions for you. You yeah. play the character Diva in Overwatch. Yes, that's me. So, what is the inspiration for her voice? Where did that come from? Um, well, when I first got the audition, they mm -hmm. kind of wanted somebody who was youthful and uh, sounded like a K-pop star and was and was spunky and um, just strong and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, I just uh, channeled my best K-pop star. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Do you play Overwatch? I do. I do play Overwatch. A lot or just? Um, yes. Uh, so I started off with um, uh, the PC, uh, playing on PC mm -hmm. and I mained Roadhog. Okay. But then I got a PS4 because I realized, you know what? I, it's the it's, better I just, console. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's <laughs> we, controversial. We, co we cover PS4 a lot. So. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I realized, you know, as D.Va, especially because she is a gamer and mm -hmm. in, in the life of D.Va and her life, that mm -hmm. I really had to uh, own own it as well so i ended up uh maining diva and i think that's what you wanted mm -hmm. to ask me but mm -hmm. i main diva and i play about an hour to an hour and a half every day is it is it weird hearing your voice when you're playing with her so at first it was because i was just like okay that's that's me mm -hmm. <laughs> but um i i i'm used to it now gotcha so yeah. you, you said you mained roadhog I any did. anybody else that you are kind of or is in your pool of uh, no, I pretty much only played those two. I've played, you know, um, I've dabbled with Soldier 76 before, mm -hmm. um, but some of them are really challenging yes. out there. Like, yes. the, like, uh, like Genji is is tough, and mm -hmm. and Widowmakers. Like, you have to be really good to be at, good at these characters. So, um, no, mostly mostly Diva now. Is there a reason you you went with Roadhog initially? Was there something about that character that drew you in? Um, the melee and just the fact that he's hard to he's hard to break down. And so I that you know um, I, w I would say I would say those were the and also I really think that when it comes to video gaming it's mm -hmm. really important to be free to live vicariously through characters mm -hmm. that you might not uh, be identified with on the outside. Mm -hmm. So so uh, you're saying you don't you don't identify with Roadhog very much? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe someone might mistake me for yeah. Roadhog, but just the fact that on on the outside you know uh, case in point people people. See see me as diva and and in that way I am but I feel like a roadhog on the inside mm -hmm. you know I'm, a, I'm a, a big strong girl on the inside so that's kind of what drew me to roadhog and then final question yes. what's it like seeing all the overwatch cosplay specifically for you diva okay do you do you get excited about oh. it what's the feelings of like love, this game is huge I love all the lore I love the cosplay I love the ships I love the gremlin stuff I love everything yeah and I and I get particularly excited when I see a Devo or a Hiva, as they say, mm -hmm. um, the, the gender bending. Because, yeah, because I think that it's uh, it's really cool that you know back in the day we used to like really just go for the guy that we identified with. So, mm -hmm. for example, when I was growing up playing Street Fighter Two, I just naturally would pick Chun Li, even mm -hmm. though inside I was a Ryu. Like mm -hmm. I, it's like he's the best character. Like there's, I mean, I'm sorry, but if you disagree, <laughs> but that's who I think was the best character. And you don't want to be the white one. You want to be the, you, oh, you want to be the white one, not the one that gets in second. You know, and it, there was, it was so. Uh, but then the, there was this, this. I, I feel like gaming has changed a lot mm -hmm. in that sense where now you have men playing women, women playing men. And so I get really excited when I see that diva, you know, outside of the nerf that up and mm -hmm. like, she's still a very strong character that mm -hmm. men feel proud of maining. Mm -hmm. And so I, I want to say, I still meet more men who main diva than I do women. Gotcha. And I, I think that that's really awesome. We actually have one of our friends with thousand face cosplays, oh. thousand faces cosplay. That yeah. is gender bending is Zarya. Like oh, wow. he was here today as Zarya, and it's actually kind of. Oh, cool I totally to see met that. him. He's a personal trainer. Yep. Yeah. He's actually got a bodybuilding competition a week from now, so he's I'm been. I'm not he's surprised. Prepared. Yeah, he's got I some even, muscles on him. I even asked him. I was like, "Oh, well, how well, how, how many days a week do you work out?" And mm -hmm. he said seven. Yeah. Which would mean all the days of the week. And then I'm guessing <laughs> you, you might have saw a tracer with him. That's his wife yes. as well, and yes. which is the cutest thing. Yes, the couples. I know. They're very. They're cute very couple. awesome. Yeah. So. so thank you so much for taking time. I really do Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely. So. 
If you guys haven't played Overwatch, go ahead and check it out. And we are Level 2 Gaming. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, welcome to the second level. Bye. It ain't no game, but they say welcome to the second level.